Thanks for choosing Two Works for You Midday. I'm Daniel Wynn. Good morning, everyone. I'm Tanaya Wright. We start today with the city of Tulsa's first ozone alert day of the year. Two Works for You anchor Will Dupree is live to explain that how it could affect your health. Well, Daniel and Tanaya, a lot of families and their kids are out here at the park at 41st and Riverside enjoying the day, trying to spend it as much as they can outside since it's not as hot just yet. But on this ozone alert day. Health experts are saying that you might want to take the fun inside, maybe spend some time indoors today. That's because the extra ozone in the air could inflame or irritate your lungs. That's especially problematic for anyone suffering from asthma, COPD, or any other respiratory disorder. Cassie Clayton with Morton Comprehensive Health says even if you don't have these issues, we should not take these ozone alert days lightly. If you have children that are asthmatics, then uh, prepare to, to make sure that you are keeping those children inside. I know it's harder to keep, in, keep them inside on days like this when it's hot, and, um, but it's better for them that the, you know, the air quality that they're breathing. Well, to protect the air quality on ozone alert days, we should all maybe limit the driving that we do. Uh, try to keep that to a minimum today. Uh, coming up in 30 minutes, we're going to tell you about some other ways, some simple ways you can stay safe on these kinds of days. Reporting live in Midtown, Will Dupree, two works for you.